and here are your containers so they could take them with them. Maybe you <laughs> noticed it through the TV God screen, you, but astonished you. and amazed and unsuspecting viewers could feel Amanda's joyful spirit in the heartfelt hug she gave. Popping up, astonishing folks as part of the CBS 46 Surprise Squad. Dozens of charities noticed her dedication helping to raise money and seeing events, hundreds, including this recent one, to benefit kids. You might have seen her lovable laugh as a proud mama showing off her dog at a Wolfstock community event. I'm Amanda Davis with the CBS 46 Surprise Squad. But the smile wasn't just on the surface. The inner beauty of our beloved Amanda Davis matched her outer appearance. Track her social media feed and you'd always see inspirational shares and positive posts like, quick, tell me at least three things you're thankful for right now. Go. And happy Wednesday. Don't waste a minute not being happy. Plus, have a fabulous Friday. May your cup overflow with peace, love, and pure awesomeness today. Before she became our morning and noon anchor, Amanda joined the team here in June of 2015. Here she is appearing on radio station V103, announcing the exciting news she would be back on Metro Atlanta Television as a contributor for our CBS 46 Just a Minute segment. I thought, well, you know, after all of these years, I do have an opinion on things. And so I thought it was a great opportunity to have a voice in this community that I've called home for 31 years. Later, Amanda would join our team full time as our morning news co-anchor. Before that, she shared heartfelt personal accounts about triumphs and tribulations with alcohol addiction. Trouble started simmering in my life about six years ago. I remember waking up one day and realizing I just wasn't happy. My heart was broken after a failed eight year relationship that included an engagement called off by my fiance. My self-esteem suffered a major blow. So did my award-winning career. For the first time, I began to feel my days were numbered at work. And I'm Amanda Davis. I knew how the industry operated. Women don't get to age on TV. They're replaced by younger, prettier ones. Exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. More and more, I felt like a fake on TV, pretending to have it all together when nothing could be further from the truth. People commonly end up feeling like they're living a double life, you know, that their outside uh, persona is not what's really going on inside. I'm an introvert, shy, grew up an only child, so isolation came easy. And when you're alone, unhappiness is amplified, and that's when you just want the pain to go away. As a child, Amanda grew up in San Antonio, but she graduated from Clark College with honors before it became Clark Atlanta University. She worked for WAGA-TV for 26 years before joining our team. The past few weeks have been tough and stressful for our coworker and friend. Recently, Amanda lost her dad, writing on Twitter, Help me, Lord, and posting this Bible verse from Matthew, Blessed are those that mourn, for they will be comforted. Here at CBS 46, we find comfort knowing her spirit is now with her pops, as she called him, and we're also going to treasure the great memories and these words from her televised personal account of pushing through the personal pain of the past. I feel whole again, ready to see what life has in store for me next. I'm here to say I fell down hard, but I got back up and that's the key. I've learned no matter what, nothing is insurmountable. Yes, relapse is always a possibility. As the saying goes, I take things one day at a time now and I'll be okay.